What up, sneakerheads? This is KU, one of your writers here at kicksonfire.com. This week, we have something from the 90s, we have something from the Greeks, something from LA, and a little bit of something for the summertime. Let's find out what they are right after the break on the Kicks on Fire weekly review. Coming in at number five is the custom Medusa Dunk by Diversatile Custom Clothing. Now, the shoe was inspired by the movie Clash of the Titans, which came out a few weeks ago. If you take a look at the shoe, you'll see that they have a picture of Medusa on the heel of the shoe, and they actually use real sapphires for the eyes of Medusa, which is crazy. Uh, also, the box, the box is custom made, and there's a little Medusa on top of the box, and inside the box, there's a crushed velvet-like material, material, excuse me, protecting the shoe. Out of control, it's crazy. This really shows you, for you customizers out there that are watching this video, attention to detail is where it's at. The shoe is ridiculous. Y'all make sure you check it out on the post. Moving on to number four. Coming in at number four is the Nike Air Max DT96. Now these are set to release this holiday season and they'll be in a red and white colorway and a black and white colorway. Now a lot of you were uh, so-so about these. You actually were hoping that they were released the 1994 DTs, uh, but unfortunately they decided to release the 1996, which is kind of weird because they just retro these in 2007. Maybach Trav, I think, put it best when he said that he saw these at the Nike outlet in Maine for $49.99. So, not sure how well these will do during the holiday season this year. But, we will see. That's the Nike Air Max 96 DT. Coming in at number three is the Air Jordan 6 LA Laker. Now, the reason they call it the LA Laker is because the shoe commemorates when Jordan beat Magic Johnson and the Los Angeles Lakers in the championship way, way back in the day. Which doesn't make us Laker fans happy. But I'm sure you Jordan fanatics love the shoe. Now, the shoe has an all-black upper. The reason they call it the LA Laker is because the stitching is actually in yellow and purple, or, you know, that Laker gold. So it looks pretty nice in all-black, and then the purple and gold has some nice accents. And I actually, as a Laker fan, I can see myself rocking it. So I guess I really can't complain too much. I'm a Jordan fan. I love the Jordan shoes. The Jordan brand, they did all right by these. So you make sure you check those out. Coming in at number two is the Jordan 9 Retro in the white, black, and university blue colorway. Now, if there was ever a North Carolina shoe, these are definitely the North Carolina Jordans. There's an all-white upper, there's a bright blue midsole, and then there's a black jumpman and a black tongue. Now, these were originally released in 1993, which is the first time that Michael Jordan decided to retire from the NBA. Also, they'll be released on May 29th, so all you Jordan fans that had, didn't get a chance to get them the first time or the second time, you can get these retros in the white, university blue, and black. Now, before we go on to number one, there's a few things I want to talk about. As you know, we do the weekly reviews, but in addition to that, we do the video reviews. And last week, we got our, our first female sneakerhead review with Soul DeVita did a review of the Jordan GS6 in the rainbow colorway. Let's take a look at the video. As you all know, ladies, Jordan Brand decided to come out with a colorway just dedicated to us. The main defining detail of this sneaker, of course, is the rainbow scheme colorway located on the outer midsole and on the inner midsole. The rest of this sneaker itself is a leather broken down into two types on the toe box and the two panels here is a smooth leather and then on the rest of the, of the six, which gives it that defining six detail and this panel up here is a tumble leather. So in addition to the weekly reviews, Make sure you guys check out all of our video reviews also for all the sneakerheads out there. You guys out there are actually producing these sneaker reviews, so make sure you support the sneakerhead community because we appreciate it just as much as you do. Now, coming in at number one. Coming in at number one is a shoe that's set to release on July 3rd, and it's the Jordan 9 in a black and citrus colorway. Now, the upper is all black with a few exceptions of citrus on the Jumpman, on the 23, and a little bit on the Tongue. Definitely, I think these are going to be the hottest shoe of the summer. You guys let me know here in the comments what you think. Do you think the Jordan Citrus is hot? Based on the comments we got on the shoe, I think you guys are feeling them too. And on July 3rd, people are going to be standing in line. Maybe we should get out there and get some video. Hmm. I wonder. 
Before we go, there's a couple honorable mentions I'd like to throw out to you. There is the Nike uh, Dunk Beasting Custom that was on the site. I'm gonna make sure I put a link up to that so you guys can check that out. Second thing in the honorable mention is the Peak J Rich Custom Shoe and Endorsement Deal. He signed with the company Peak, which is a Chinese shoe manufacturer, and we got to see two, I believe they're a prototype shoes, and actually he may have worn them. He let, a, let, a, let the picture go on his Twitter page, and that's how we got a hold of them. We put them up on the site. We'll also put a link up to those so you can check those out. Once again, this is kicksonfire.com's weekly review. We definitely appreciate you guys coming through to check us out. We know there's plenty of sneaker sites out there, and it's always dope that you guys come check us out here on kicksonfire.com. If you want to talk to us directly, hit us up on Twitter, at kicksonfire.com. If you want to talk to me, I'm one of the writers. It's at Cousteau, at K-U-S-T-O-O on Twitter. And always, female sneakerheads, make sure you check out our women's section. This is Kicks on Fire. This is the weekly review. We see you guys next week. Peace. Take it easy.